Could you imagine if there were no place in the world of tennis for players like Venus Williams, Serena Williams, and more? Well, tennis wasn't always accepting for African American athletes, and today we are sharing interesting facts from the biography of Althea Gibson, taking you to school. That's right. Althea Gibson was the first African-American tennis player to compete at the U.S. National Championships in 1950 and the first African-American player to compete at Wimbledon in 1951. Now for starters, the life of Althea Gibson began in Silver, South Carolina, where she was born on August 25th, 1927. I can relate to Althea. Gibson's family, like many African-American families at that time, did not have a lot of money, making life challenging. When it came to education, Gibson struggled in the classroom as well. Althea became so frustrated with school that she often skipped class. Now, I know you wouldn't skip school. No way. Granny Maxine would not be happy. You got that right. Now, like many youth, Althea loved to play sports, and she really enjoyed ping pong. In fact, she was so good at ping pong, which led to Althea being introduced to the Harlem River Tennis Courts in 1941. In 1942, Althea won her first tournament, which was sponsored by the American Tennis Association an African-American organization established to promote and sponsor tournaments for African-American players. Althea continued playing tennis while attending college and in 1950 became the first African-American tennis player to enter the National Grass Court Championship Tournament at Forest Hill in Queens, New York. But things weren't always easy for Althea. Now, you have to remember, Althea Gibson played tennis at a time where in the United States was openly racist. So, tennis, like many other activities in the United States, was segregated. This made Althea want to give up playing, but someone who cared and took to the world of media exposed racism in the world of tennis. A former number one tennis player named Alice Mabel wrote an article shaming the world of tennis for not allowing athletes with Althea's skill to play. The story eventually gained the support of people who wanted to allow African American athletes to play tennis and Gibson made history when she became the first African American ever invited to play at Wimbledon. And all she did was win, 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 win. Althea would go on to win a ton of tournaments in Asia and Europe, including the French and Italian singles titles. But she didn't stop there. Althea Gibson would go on to become a winner on the world of tennis's biggest stage, taking home the Wimbledon women's singles and doubles titles, and also the U.S. Women's Singles Championship at Forest Hills. Okay, so this one is a little weird, but hey, Althea was awesome as an athlete, so she tried other sports too. Although she is known in history for her success in tennis, Althea also tried playing golf as a professional. In 1964, she took up professional golf, accomplishing another first. Althea became the first African-American member of the Ladies Professional Golfer Association. Althea Gibson was a game changer, and in honor of all of her hard work, she wouldn't go unrecognized. That is where, following Althea's retirement, she was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 1971. The life of Althea Gibson came to an end on September 28, 2003 where she passed away in East Orange, New Jersey. The story of Althea Gibson is definitely inspiring. Overcoming the challenges of racism in tennis to become a Wimbledon champion is just mind-blowing. 
But wait a minute, there are others in history who have changed the game for how we live today. Check out our next video coming up on the screen and subscribe for instant alerts on YouTube to get new videos just like this.